Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just in case you're new here, my name is Keisha and at the beginning of each week I post our weekly food hauls. I do that so you guys can get an idea of what we're eating, some new recipes I'm trying, maybe some new products I'm trying, and it's kind of like buggy watching but from inside the house. And um, this week we didn't have a ton to get. Let me kind of go ahead and tell you some of the menu items that we're going to have and I'll also tell you some of the stuff we already have um, in the freezer. So one night we're going to have croque majeures with a salad that's basically a hot ham and cheese um, with a salad. Another night we're going to have chicken fried steaks um, with mashed potatoes and a vegetable and I already have the cube steak in the freezer. Another night we're just going to have steaks on the grill with a baked potato and a vegetable. Um, another night we're going to have turkey tetrazzini and garlic bread. We're going to have fish another night, and I'll explain more about that in just a minute. We're going to have um, grilled chicken prosciutto, and um, that's delicious. And um, we're also going to probably have breakfast one night. Now, some of the items I needed to pick up, this is a very big haul. All in all, it cost about hundred dollars not too bad um, and I stayed within my budget but I didn't get a ton as you can see so let's get started right here now I have some jumbo shrimp in the freezer and I figured one night we would um, do like fish skewers so we'll do like one I don't know I've made um, scallops like probably 30 different ways during the course of my life in culinary school and I thought I would probably put them on skewers and put them out on the grill with shrimp in between each um, scallop. I don't know my husband likes them breaded too so we'll see um, and he also likes them pan seared but I got some scallops these were fresh straight out of the um, case they wrapped them up for me and they will go in the refrigerator and we'll have to eat them like at the beginning of the week probably tonight which is Monday or Tuesday I just got some ground round remember what I said about being careful where you get your 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 hamburger if you will your ground beef your ground round because of the Jamie Oliver pink slime story that um, I learned and I'll link it on my other video below but I'll link it again just in case you're new here um, and you can see what I'm talking about but my grocery store grinds the meat in store so I went ahead and got one of those now I decided to try the apple chicken Johnsonville sausage so there's 50% less fat no SMG 25% sodium there's no um, hormones in the chickens that were raised to make this sausage. I'm not sure if I can convert to this. I'm going to give it a shot um, and I'll let you guys know how tasty it was. I'm a girl that likes um, like Johnsonville better with cheddars and the um, organic hot dogs really was not that good but these are not organic. They're all natural chicken though but um, we're going to give these apple sausages um, a try. If you guys have tried these let me know. I just actually saw them this week for the first time in my Ingles, so um, you never really know what you'll find when you'll find it because I don't think they had them last week. Um, I got some um, prosciutto. Look at that. I got a half a pound. It's delicious. And I also got some honey ham for the hot ham and cheese we're going to have. Um, and I got Greer for that hot ham and cheese. This was a little more expensive at $11, but just got myself. This would be plenty of cheese. Um, I got some Applewood smoked bacon. And wow, you guys, I was in the bacon section and I just was, I don't know. I know that I see it probably every week, but the bacon was like six, seven dollars a package. It's just insane. This one was like $5.95, um, but they were so expensive. So, whew go broke buying bacon. Um, I got one cucumber and some um, lettuce. Now this is the artesian lettuce. Scott and I like this a lot. There's four different kinds, I think. Let's see. Oh, well, no, there's three different kinds. Um, but we like this one a lot, so I went ahead and got one of these, and it does last a very long time just in that package. I got a um, cantaloupe because it just smelled so good I could not pass it by. I also just got a bag of potatoes and I like these Del Monte with the really thin skin because you can you can mash them without peeling them and the skin is super thin. 
Um, I got some tomatoes, and as you can see, these are South Carolina grown. They are just like local tomatoes, which make me extremely happy to buy um, because, you know, you get those like hothouse tomatoes. They're disgusting. I went ahead and just got a quick thing of chicken salad for the week, um, and I usually make my own, but this one's a good one, and I went ahead and got it for some quick sandwiches for myself. I just got another butter this time. The cobalt was on sale, so I went ahead and got that. I got some frozen green peas for the croque majeure. I'm doing it kind of different, and I'm going to be using croissants. So that's going to be absolutely delicious. I got a baguette um, because I decided I would make some um, bruschetta bread, and it's so yummy and delicious um, that I'm, you know, I'll probably actually cut half of this and freeze the other half, but this is a really soft baguette, which will be perfect. I like the crispy ones, but we still like soft bread around here sometimes, so once we grill it, it still won't be that soft. Um, I went ahead and got one of these Thai-style noodles and chicken because we had some... I don't know, we had some Japanese noodles the other night at Sushi Jojo um, down in our old town and they were so delicious. I saw this and kind of thought of it. I hope that's good. I got another Stoker Salisbury steak just in case, again, I need a quick lunch um, and I don't want to make a sandwich. I got some chocolate chips just for some cookies for Scott and myself. Scott wanted some honey buns, so I got those for him. I also got some of the little donuts. You guys, if watching my channel for any length of time, know that I love those little little chocolate donuts. And I got some more Javalia coffee. This time I got the Columbia blend. It is medium and it's described as medium bodied, rich and bright. And I haven't tried this one, so I hope I like it. I got another Horizon um, organic milk. Just being Scott and myself, I don't have to buy a gallon anymore. This um, half gallon works fine. I got some um, Gold Sweet Peak Tea, which is one of our favorites. I think I'm gonna start making our own tea again. I just got tired of doing it, and this one was really good. Um, I got another box of Coke because we, we do like Coke around here. And I got Scott some crackers because he said that he was out, and he had some, like, um, seafood salad he wanted to eat with crackers. So I picked some more up. And then household-wise, I only got some dog and cat food. I got uh, five or six cans of the Friskies for my kitty cats, and I got six cans of different varieties of the Carina One Smart Blend. It was on sale, so I went ahead. I know Cooper likes the lamb a lot, and so I got him I got him three of those and then some other different flavors. I got a row of bounty paper towels, and I also got my husband some aspirin, which he has already taken um, because he's not feeling that good. So that is our simple food haul. This cost about $100, like I said, so it wasn't you know, out of my budget, but I didn't have to buy a lot. I don't really have anything planned with a ground round. I just saw it and I decided I'd add another one to my freezer. And, you know, you guys, everybody always asks about budgeting, so I'll put that video link in. You can check that out if you're interested. But, um, for us, we shop every week and we still maintain a very full freezer. And, we don't usually go over budget a whole lot because if we don't, like most of my meat goes straight into the freezer when I get home. So if we want to push a meal out, it's completely fine because it's not, you know, going to go bad. But we always push our meals into the next week that we haven't ate. And sometimes, you know, I forgot about a few of those meals and they just live in the freezer. And, you know, once uh, every couple months I dig through the freezer and make sure we're using stuff. Um, up accordingly, but I keep a really good stocked freezer at all times and I don't have to do a ton of shopping um, because shopping week to week allows me to put those meals um, either in the freezer and we can roll them over into the next week if we don't eat them or if I see a big package of ground beef, I'll, I will, um, you know, break it up and put those little packets in the freezer. Um, my freezer stays stocked, and we will, going into the fall months, um, be videoing some of our tips around here that keeps our freezer stocked and some different things I make. That will be coming up sometime um, early October. So stay tuned for that series because it's going to be two or three videos long, maybe, you know, four videos. I'm not sure. But um, we can all easily 
freeze our food and what we don't eat one week we can push it off to the next week or we can just allow it to build up and help our freezer um, get stocked up there's lots of different tips I have for you guys so I hope you've enjoyed this food haul I will be back tomorrow with another video I'm trying to get better um, with my schedule on this channel I know it's kind of been whacked out a little bit here lately but stay tuned for another video tomorrow and you guys have a beautiful day check out my blog at kjaggers.com for more pictures and information and I will see you guys later bye bye